So look at that, y'all. Now the potatoes are, are completely clear. All the skins are off. Now the next part is to slice them into little individual pieces. So be very careful when you use this knife or any kind of knife you use because it's very sharp. Knives are very, very Okay, I'm going to stay busy with this one. I'm going to turn this camera off again. Voila. Now all you have to do is stir it. Like this. But you got to keep on watching it each time. Because once you put one half of the potato bits, all you got to do is stir it. And you gotta keep doing this until they're floating. You gotta do it each time, otherwise they'll be sticky. And you'll have to set it up for at least 10 minutes. All you gotta do is keep on stirring and stirring. But if you wanna take a break from stirring, you can. But you gotta keep on stirring until until they turn brown and then they float. And if you want to stop stirring, you can. But you gotta keep on stirring after a while. Because otherwise, you'll end up letting the potato bits sticky. You gotta keep stirring until they turn brown and then they float. But just always remember, never put the whole thing in because otherwise that won't be good. You gotta put one half of the potato bits in and then you put in the other half. Keep doing this until they're floating. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. See that? You even know if it's sizzling, but you gotta keep on stirring until the 10 minutes are up. 
keeps stirring or keep stirring and stirring until until they're floating and if you want to take a break just stop stirring and then after a while just keep going and then once one half of the potato bits are done then you do the same thing to the second half but again be very careful when you take them out because again this pot is still hot you don't want to burn yourself no 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 yep that's a big no-no just keep on stirring until they're floating and once they turn brown then you get to take them out after 10 minutes you know it's smoking a little but still it, they still cooking good Oh yeah, and another thing you should know, you can also put on the, uh, the vent fan, like this. But I would rather let you guys try the, this, the light one. You can set it up, the vent fan, either high or low. But I recommend you guys to use the low one. A lot easier to use the lower one. Now take a look. See, the more you stir, the more unsticky it'll get. It's not gonna be all sticky when you keep on stirring. You gotta keep stirring and stirring and stirring until they're floating. Yeah, because you cannot have uncooked potato bits. That's a no-no. You don't want to be cooking uncooked products, now would you? Gotta keep on cooking them well until they're good. No matter what. All right, y'all, well, I'm gonna be keep on stirring this, so see you guys in the conclusion, just a sec. Okay, check it out, y'all. That's an example of what you do the second half. So that's the first half. See that? They're all brown. The second half of the potato bits are in right now. So once again, we'll be right back. Or I'll be right back for the conclusion. Okay? And voila. Here's how. And that's how you make potato bits so just remember to make potato bits you have to get two potatoes peel the skin cut them into individual pieces put them in the pot one half then the other and set it any time you want it doesn't have to be just 10 minutes you can set it in a different time you know don't want to overcook them. You don't want to burn them either. So just be very careful on that part, okay? But after when you use the pot with the oil, do not, I repeat, do not dump the oil. You gotta keep it in there in case you wanna make some more of these. Well, that's all I have to show you. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, keep it real, my peeps, and stay in school. Bye-bye.